It is the opinion of the entire staff that Dexter is clearly insane. Hi there, Carl Boltzmann here, and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I'm going to do a quick deconstruction of the Avalanche's Frontier Psychiatrist from their 2000 album, Since I Left You. Now, if you really like this track and you'd like more detail on how the Avalanche's created it, you're welcome to check out my two hour live stream, which I'll link above here, where I deconstructed this track with the help of a couple of sample hunting friends, Civil Fred and the Mystic Shaman, who sort of guided me through this deconstruction. So without further ado, let's check out the first sample. And that is from Jeff Love and his orchestra and their 1971 track, The Theme from Lawrence of Arabia. And if I'm remembering correctly, this one was actually found by the Mystic Shaman, which is pretty cool. And so let's take a listen to it in the context of the track. It is pitched down by eight semitones. And the next sample to come in is that voice. Dexter Ill, Ill today. Mr. Kirk, Dexter's in school. I'm afraid he's not, Miss Birchmore. Dexter's trilogy problem is way out of hand. And that sample comes from the 1981 movie Polyester. The Baltimore County School Board have decided to expel Dexter from the entire public school system. Oh, Mr. Kirk, I'm as upset as you to learn Dexter's two and six. And the next sample to come in are the drums, and they come from Harvey Mandel, Wade in the Water, from 1968. <laughs> So I really like the way that the Avalanches mix these drums. It's very wide left to right. And I'd love to talk to them about that and see how they mix these drums exactly. But one thing I can say for sure is that there is a sub bass that's playing a low B in the mix. And so I've also included that. Hi, Mr. Kirk. I'm as upset as you to learn textures too and say, but sure. I'm afraid explosion is the only answer. It's the opinion of the entire staff that Dexter is criminally insane. So there we have a sample of a horse. Same, same, same. And we're not sure where that comes from. There's some speculation that it might be from an old Western, but we just don't know at this point. When this part comes in, you can hear a gunshot. And that comes from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now those horns and those vocals come from the Enoch Light Singers and their 1968 track, My Way of Life. And this sample is ever so slightly pitched down. That boy needs therapy. Psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Purely psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. So those voices that you hear there are Wayne and Schuster and one of their recordings called Frontier Psychiatrist from 1959. This program is respectfully dedicated to those brave pioneers, the Frontier Psychiatrists, who brought mental health to the West. I am a frontier psychiatrist, and that boy needs therapy. Gus, <laughs> where's my notebook? And I'm the Ringo Kid. I'm a ring-tailed Ranny Gazoo. I'm the shootingest, fightingest buckaroo in the West. Anybody want to take me on? No. No. Oh, no. No. All right, I'll tell you what. When I count three. So here I've got those samples cut up. That boy needs therapy. Psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Purely psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Lie down on the couch. What does that mean? You're a nut. You're crazy in the coconut. What does that mean? That boy needs therapy. I'm gonna kill you. That boy needs therapy. Granny Gazoo, let's have a chew. Now when I count three. He was white as a sheet. And he also made false teeth. He was white as a sheet. So that sample there, He Was White as a Sheet, comes from Aunt Teresa. They'd made a recording of her book, Please Tell Me a Story, and this is the story of the leopard. He was white as a sheet. 
He was dead, Mom. But he opened his eyes and made a funny noise, and he moved. And then the next sample you hear... And he also made false teeth. ...comes from the Grey Line sound tour of historic Boston from 1962. And Civil Fred has a good story about how this sample was found and how this recording was found and put online. And he explained that in the live stream video where I deconstructed this track. But anyway, this is a very rare record, and we are lucky to have found it. And he also made false teeth. Besides all this activity, he found time to raise 16 children. And if you stand in the living room of this tiny four-room house, you can hear footsteps in the bedroom overhead in much the same way as Paul Revere must have heard them when he lived here. So you can see very exciting stuff. And so the other thing that happens here are drums come in. Yes, a sheep. And he also made false teeth. And those drums come from Dexter Wansell and his track Theme from the Planets from 1976. And part of this drum loop was actually used as well by the Chemical Brothers in their track One Too Many Mornings, which I also deconstructed and I'll link above here if you want to check that out. So here's how it sounds in the context of the song. He was white as a sheep. And he also made false teeth. Now that sample, Avalanche is About, Business Continues Below, is from The Conquest of Everest, which was a documentary about the first European climbers of Mount Everest. Avalanche is about, business continues below. At one of the ice force camp, they have just received their final supplies of oxygen. So there's a lot to go through in this section coming up, but let's start with the drums. Did I ever tell you the story about cowboys and midgets and the Indians and... So unfortunately, we don't know where the drums come from yet. I'm sure that information will come out in the near future. So I've just substituted some other drums and kind of sampled them in in a similar way. But the strings come from Percy Faith and his orchestra from 1961. And this is pitched up by around three semitones. I ever tell you the story about now, you probably recognize that voice. Did I ever tell you the story about... Because that is Aunt Teresa once more, and this is the story of Lost Mittens. Did I ever tell you the story about Lost Mittens? The three little kittens, they lost their mittens, and they began to cry. Continues below. Did I ever tell you the story about... Cowboys! Now, that Cowboys comes from Wayne and & Schuster and their skit, I Was a TV Addict, from 1959. Cowboys, private eyes, and musketeers. Cowboys, midgets. So that midgets sample comes from Flip Wilson from a 1967 comedy recording he made. Cowboys, midgets. The Indians. And then the Indians again comes from Flip Wilson from 1967. Frontiers of pirates. I felt strangely hypnotized. I was in another world. Now, Strangely Hypnotized and I Was in Another World, that is again from Wayne and & Schuster and their skit, I Was a TV Addict from 1959. I felt strangely hypnotized. I was in another world, a world of... I felt strangely hypnotized. I was in another world, a world of... 20,000 girls. And that 20,000 girls, once again, comes from Flip Wilson. 20,000 girls in the stand screaming at Willie. Hit that ball, Willie! <laughs> And milk, once again, from Aunt Teresa. You sometimes have on your cereal in the morning. Milk. And rectangles. And, and this is the first time we've heard from Laurie Anderson, but she has a recording where she is discussing all sorts of things, and she has such a lovely voice. And this is her saying rectangles. And rectangles and pyramids around. Now, that doesn't sound too fascinating, but it was so... It looked like it had been made yesterday. And maybe at this point, I'll just mention that all of these recordings I'm going to have down below in the video description if you want to listen to any of Wayne & Schuster's skits all the way through, or if you want to take a listen to Laurie Anderson talk for a while. Now the next sample to come in. 
to an optometrist. To an optometrist! Comes from Wayne and Schuster and their skit, A Shakespearean Baseball Game from 1959. To an optometrist! I with the gods had made thee more poetical. To an optometrist! The man with the golden eyeball. And the man with the golden eyeball, once again, comes from Wayne and Schuster's I Was a TV Addict. I didn't know it then, but I was soon to become the man with the golden eyeball. The man with the golden eyeball. More juice on your chin. And unfortunately, we're missing a sample there. And tighten your buttocks. Tighten your buttocks. Who knows where that's from, but hopefully it'll come out soon. More juice on your chin. Than and the juice on your chin, once again, comes from Aunt Teresa and their chapter, Juice on Your Chin. I can see I don't have as many as Billy and Mary do. <laughs> but you have a lot more juice on your chin than we do. <laughs> more juice on your chin than we do. I promised my girlfriend I'd get her. And that, once again, is Flip Wilson from 1967. And I promised my girlfriend I'd get her a color television. <laughs> I couldn't carry all that stuff. And then once again, we have Laurie Anderson saying violin. The violin, a lot of the, of the sounds are played on violin, single of your sounds, because... My girlfriend, get her. The violin, violin. So we're introduced to a couple of new samples here. And I'll start with the strings, and they come from Ron Goodwin and his orchestra, from the Spitfire Prelude and Fugue from 1968. And this is pitched down by about three and a half semitones. And the next sample we're going to talk about is the Edith Thomas Singers and Wait Till You See Her from 1968. And then in the right channel here, it's pitched up by eight and a half semitones. And let's put that together with the strings. Frontier Psychiatry. So there's a new sample that we hear there. Frontier. With that voice. And that amazingly comes from Sesame Street, The Count Counts Flowers from 1974. Flowers make me sneeze. I can't count sneezes. And so that's pitched down by about one and a half semitones. So the next new sample that comes in is from Eddie Bo and Inez Sheetham from their 1967 track, A Lover and a Friend. And they just use it as kind of a drum accent. It's got a nice delay and stuff over it, over top of the main drums. We're getting into closer to the end of the track here. Down on the couch? What does that mean? You're a nut! You're crazy! And so that cuckoo clock comes from Audio Fidelity Records from 1962. And that's pitch shifted up by a couple of semitones. You're a nut. You're crazy in the coconut. What does that mean? That boy needs therapy. Um, he was white as a sheep. And he also made false teeth. Oh. 
frontier psychiatrist. Can you think of anything that talks? Um, a bird? Yeah. So those voices come again from Aunt Teresa and her track, A Piece of Wood That Talked. Can you think of anything that talks other than a person? A bird? That's one, yes. Sometimes a parrot talks. <laughs> yes, yeah, some birds are funny when they talk. And then the yeah that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Comes from Doopies and Dr. Domestic's Physical Effects Number 1 and the track A Piece for Turntables and Records. Yeah. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you so very much. Yeah. And so getting to the end of the track here. The outro consists of George Barnes and their track Anna from 1960. So thanks so much for checking out this deconstruction. I've started doing live streams more consistently on Sundays around 4 o'clock EDT. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, feel free to tune into that and say hello. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video or maybe the next live stream.